In 1965, Dr. Eugene Stead Jr. noticed a primary care shortage, so he launched the first PA program in North Carolina, with the first class graduating two years later. This was the start of trailblazing excellence. Like their predecessors, today's PAs go beyond for patients, digging a little deeper, listening a little longer, and never forgetting that each patient is one of a kind. The number one thing that I enjoy about being a PA is the relationships I'm able to build with the patients. It's very important to make a human connection with each and every patient. This communication is key to providing that high quality patient care. When they trust you and then you can trust them, you can work together to solve um, a problem that's, a, that's arisen for this patient. To further build that trust, the time has come for a professional title that encompasses the value we bring to healthcare. A title that gives patients true clarity on how we can improve their health. Today, we are proud to be called Physician Associates, a profession that has evolved into a shining example of what medical practice should be. To us, the patient always comes first. With our deep understanding of human connection, we not only practice medicine to heal our patients, but also to give them hope. One by one, PAs go beyond for patients. One by one, we lead the way into new frontiers of medicine. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing a patient that's been in a wheelchair for years walk for the first time. I do strive to go above and beyond with my patients. Being a young profession, we still have the ability to really define what PAs are and can do in the future. The PA profession will continue to grow, thrive, and accomplish great milestones for many years to come.